If you had to choose between your eyeballs or your eyebrows, which would you keep? My guess is most people are saying they would keep their eyeballs, obviously. Eyebrows are just this weird forehead mustache that we all have. But what if I told you that eyebrows are way more important than you might think? Take a look at these photos of celebrities with their eyes removed and try to name who they are as quickly as possible. Here are the answers for those still wondering or unsure. Now do the same thing with these photos of celebrities missing their eyebrows. Besides all these pictures being absolutely weird and hilarious and uncanny, studies have shown that people have a significantly harder time on average recognizing faces without eyebrows compared to those that are missing eyeballs. Okay, I <laughs> immediately feel insane. I will keep this on for a very brief moment because I know how unsettling it is, not only for you, but for me. And I'm not gonna not be able to stare at myself in the camera. <laughs> So here we go. Now you may not have known who all those celebrities were, or perhaps you recognize the ones more when they didn't have their eyebrows, but it's important to remember that the studies found on average after studying many people that when eyebrows were removed, it was harder to recognize the faces. Why would removing the eyebrows have such an impact on recognition, especially over the eyes and mouth, which we've always sort of assumed are the main emotive and recognizable features of a face. So much so that most of our facial recognition software that we interact with relies on our mouth and eyes, which you might have noticed in a world where we now wear masks and your phone's not able to even recognize your face until you take it off. Okay, th this has to go now. <laughs> If you need even more evidence that eyebrows are weird yet important, take a look at the Mona Lisa. Perhaps the most famous and enigmatic painting ever has no eyebrows. Coincidence? Like what if she's just actually a famous celebrity and none of us can recognize who she truly is? In all seriousness though, the science is really cool. And next to apes or monkeys, it becomes glaringly strange and something I'd never really noticed before. They have nearly full faces of hair and yet we only really retain visible hair on our eyebrows. Not to mention our massive hairless foreheads in comparison. Even next to a human with a full face of hair, the skin ratio is so much higher. What's that about? Why did evolution lead us to lose most of our facial hair except this random little part above the eyes? I'm glad you asked. Well, one of the most distinct features of modern humans is actually our brow ridge, which you can clearly see when looking at our skulls. We evolved smooth, long foreheads and agile eyebrows compared to a stiff brow ridge of archaic hominids. A long-standing explanation of eyebrows was simply that they helped keep sweat, rain, and sunlight out of our eyes. After all, the hairs grow outwards towards the side of the face, which can help direct moisture or dirt away. Others have suggested that the different testosterone levels in early hominids or our brain's frontal lobe growing larger over time may play a role. But after further analysis, some of the most interesting and newer research has suggested that it may actually have to do with with a very human trait, empathy. As we became an increasingly social species and relied more and more on communication, our eyebrows actually helped us to facilitate and show emotions which increased survival. While early hominids likely preferred a heavy brow ridge as a show of dominance and strength, the need for this would have slowly diminished as communication became more useful. Think about the way that your eyebrows can communicate, sometimes even involuntarily, without even changing other parts of your face. Not only can you convey emotions that are big, like surprise, happiness, anger, but even minor movements of your eyebrows can cue subtle changes in your emotions, like being concerned or concentrating. A simple example is this cartoon face. Take the exact same face and only change the eyebrows and you get three different expressions or emotions. Another advantage of your eyebrows for expression over, say, your eyes or your mouth is that they're an area of high contrast even from a distance. Whether you're looking at somebody from far away or even at a low resolution, eyebrows are often still visible and continue to make an important contribution to the geometric and photometric structure of an observed image. And since they sit at the top of your face and protrude slightly, they're less susceptible to shadows and illumination changes. Perhaps one of the most interesting things I came across was the use of eyebrow expression not only only in sign language communication, but even the use of eyebrows in those who are completely blind. For deaf people, without vocal intonation, tone, or stressing words or syllables, the eyebrows help modulate and complement hand and body signs. A perfect example is the Ray 
raising of an eyebrow, which naturally serves as a question, much like raising the pitch of your voice at the end of a sentence does. And for blind people, it turns out that even those that are blind from birth still express and use their eyebrows for emotions in the exact same way that sighted people do. When spontaneously surprised or disappointed, the muscles in the face and eyebrows contract and relax in the ways you would expect. Interestingly, where blind people differ is recreating facial expressions on command. Because sighted people have practiced using mirrors as a feedback system, it's much easier for them to recreate facial expressions when asked to. Perhaps one of the cutest examples of eyebrow importance comes from our furry companions, dogs. Turns out that dogs with the most expressive eyebrows are the most likely to be adopted from shelters. In fact, wolves who share a common ancestor with dogs physically lack the muscles to control their eyebrows and eyes. Whereas almost all dogs have a muscle that pulls the lateral corner of their eyelid toward the ears called the levator anguli oculi medialli. Expressive dog eyebrows are actually the result of unconscious human preference. We so value the communication exhibited from eyebrows that dogs that are able to express that way have a selective advantage. Honestly, I never thought I would find eyebrows so fascinating, but researching it and looking into it and realizing how connected they are to not only our evolution, but our ability to communicate as a species, not only with each other, but with dogs, obviously so cool, ultimately just illuminates how important these forehead mustaches really are. At the end of the day, it's an amazing and really interesting example of how some of our traits and their evolution have more to do with our minds than our environment. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you like our channel, you obviously love learning and Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of videos for curious and creative people. I had to edit a lot of eyebrows off of faces for this video to which I am very grateful to the Skillshare Photoshop Essential Training course that I took. But I've also used it for improving my animation in After Effects. I'm currently going through one called Collage Animation by Carmini's Guzmanbit that does an amazing job teaching how to translate Photoshop skills into active animations. But Skillshare also have classes on music, business, and a ton of other interest areas. There are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. However, the first thousand of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. So go click the link quick, go on, click it. No matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time for some more science. Peace.